Yo, y'all already know who it is. We're back with another video and shit, vlog number two. Like, I'm basically just up for nothing, basically. So, I just wanted to make this video. Plus, it's like fucking 2:12, dead in the middle of the night. This usually be my like thinking time and shit, like where I can just talk and reflect and shit. And I know y'all can't like y'all can like see a glare in my face and shit. That's cause that light is over there and I'm facing like in a direction to where the light is just like, it look like it's this. Y'all, y'all see what the fuck I'm talking about, but here making this video about the Lux team, the the team that Zoe Burger started. It, it seemed like a lot of people been hating for, for no reason. I don't get why people hate or spread negativity on them or just in general, like spread hate and negativity and shit like that is like what's the point of doing all that shit like what's the point of spreading hate telling another person like they won't make it or they content is trash or they trash or to kill they sell or drink up drink bleach and all that other uh just negative foul shit that people say and i get it's the internet i get it's the internet but at the end of the day is that who you really are in person like like if if they approached you, if you seen them in person, is that what you would really tell them to kill themselves or to drink bleach or just anything like that? Is that what you would really tell them to all the negative people? I don't get why people negative. I don't get why people can't just be themselves or no matter where it is, even if it is the internet, the, the fucking, the internet is full of toxic people. And especially on YouTube, people really think just because they have a high amount of subs or get thousands and thousands and thousands of comments that they won't see all the hate and shit and the negative shit that you say no matter how many comments on comments they looking at and seeing but they i don't know how they do it I don't, i'm not sure if they check their comments personally or anything but they more than likely see that shit it's a ton of love you get but it's also a ton of hate that you get. And the hate seems to stick out way more than the love. It seems that way, I don't know why, but it's like the hate just sticks out way more than the love. It's like the love don't affect you as much as the hate affects you. I hate how that is, that's just how YouTube is, that's just how shit is for some reason. That's just, I don't know. It's aggravating as fuck though. But out of all the comments, it's been people like if people go through shit like that like um phase rug he is like one of the coolest fucking youtubers i watch like i usually i wouldn't even fucking watch shit like that like vlogs and shit i don't even i barely even watch youtube but once i sub to you and watch your shit i'm actually like constantly watching your shit i don't really comment or nothing but i'm watching i'm watching your videos constant constant con on my twitter you can probably see that shit when i like something it appear when i like it that's that's how you can tell what I'm on or on YouTube or anything like that. I know I'll probably receive hate if anybody even watched this video. If I even get a lot of views on this shit. I don't really expect to or expect people to listen in as far. I don't really do YouTube for the views or anything like that. I just do it for just to speak my mind and shit like that. See this light behind me in a way. I just do it to speak my mind in a way. Like. Like, for those of the people, I'm gonna do a, like, a video about, like, you know, p the depressed people and shit, and people that feel alone and shit, and feel like they have nobody in the world or anything, or, or anything like that, it's, I hate shit like that, because those same people, they may hop on the internet and just be looking for somebody seriously to, like, talk to and shit, or you may, you never know what somebody going through, honestly. And this video, <laughs> this video turned the complete, like, wrong direction what I was talking about. Like, see, that's how my mind is, especially at night. I can take one little simple thing and boom, and <laughs> fucked up the snap, and boom, I'm talking about that shit just like that. But, um, yeah, let me stick to topic. This video, I, I doubt anybody watched this shit, but... People need to, like, I don't know, you shouldn't hate on Zoe or the Lux team, anybody on the team or anything like that. 
because as far as I'm concerned, they successful, they happy, they living their lives, and what's the point of hating on them? What's the point of hating somebody you've never met who's never done anything to you? Or hating on their success or anything like What's the point of that? That shit is just bothersome. It's a lot of people in the world like that, especially on the internet, that need to stop that shit. And then be the main ones that have these profile pictures of shit like anime characters or cartoon characters or fucking profiles that say LeBron James or shit, you know, shit like that. Be those people. They don't want you. They, they mask themselves on the internet because they come on the internet hating and just spreading negativity because they don't want you to see their face and they want to be this person who they not. I don't get that shit. Why hop on the internet and be somebody you not? Just be yourself. And if you're going to be anybody you not, why tell people like kill themselves? You never know what that could do to somebody. You never know how that could affect somebody. Somebody could be really depressed and hop on the internet and make a video or something. And they see your comment, you telling them to kill themselves. I'm going to do a video on it. <laughs> I can really get off topic, man. I can get off topic in an instant, especially dead in the middle of the night. I'm not talking to nobody. I don't get, like, text messages and shit. I don't really talk. You know, I don't really have nobody to talk to and shit, but I can get off topic a lot. But, yeah, Zoe, Kieran, Abigail, and if Linda's still with them, like, they deserve the congrats. Have anybody even congratulated them? on the Lux team, have anybody even congratulated them on all their success, I don't know, I see so much hate and shit, I don't even see like many congratulations and all that, yeah, Zoe, like, the way she started off, she started off twerking and shit, even I was there, I came in like, what the fuck, let me find out, you can, <laughs> you can, uh, get famous and shit for just twerking on, on live stream, playing Black Ops 3, let me find out. Yeah, I was like that. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm putting in all this hard work and shit. Trying to reach a million. And her numbers is skyrocketing constantly. Just boom, 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 boom. Just milestone after milestone and shit. But that shit wasn't... It was for a reason. It was to draw her crowd and get her fan base up there. And look where she at now. Got her own team. Got their merch. Had her interview with Rolling Stone or whatever. Um, a lot of success and shit. And I don't really see many congratulations and shit going out to him. She changed those other other, other females' lives and shit. Those other women's lives and shit. I don't know how to pro I don't know how to probably say it, but those other females' lives. She really could have just came to the top by herself and just said fuck everybody. But no, she decided to be kind-hearted bring in other people even doing recruitment and those for the same people for y'all for everybody recruitment the, the live lux shit or the live lux live lux whichever one it is sorry if i got that wrong she doing that shit zoe's doing so much for people so much for everybody and people don't appreciate it the scene once again i i don't really know i barely be on like twitter and shit and all that when I do be on, I don't really see, like, no retweeted congratulations or anything. I just mostly see the hate comments about them and the hate comments towards Zoe and everybody calling her a hoe and all this shit. I can't speak from the mind of a negative person and the mind of somebody who, would, who could be so toxic. I used to be one of those people, no lie, I used to be one of those um, years ago. In my teenage years, used to be one of those toxic people on the internet and just did not give a fuck whatsoever but I changed I'm glad I did change I changed a lot man I might do a video on that too like explaining like how I used to be and shit but I really changed I'm glad I did it feels much better to be positive and spread peace love and positivity than to fucking spread all that negativity and tell people to kill themselves and shit that shit is it's not acceptable it's fucked up but Congratulations goes out to Zoe, Kieran, Abigail, and Linda, if she's still on the team, and anybody on the Lux team. Congratulations to all them for all their success. I hope and pray that they have much, much more. Sorry if I, like, got off topic and shit with the video. I'm like, 
it's like dead in the middle of the night. I really like, I really get to thinking a lot and shit. But congrats to the Lux team. Pray for their success. I know Zoe going through shit right now. She even see like the white privilege shit, like shit like that, like the racist shit going on in uh, Virginia. I forgot where the state is. Um, she put out a video on Twitter and shit, and she was very emotional. And think about, like, think about it. She she don't know what the fuck is like. No offense, I'm not trying to talk shit or, or nothing. She don't know what it's like to be the skin color. She don't know what the shit like. Like, she don't go through the discrimination or the racist shit that I don't like saying black people because we not black. It's like my hair is black. It's like <laughs> like we brown. Like we <laughs> we brown and shit. We we got a glow to us. And I don't like the term African American and shit, cause we, cause me personally, I didn't, I wasn't born in Africa. I was born in the fucking United States of America. Like what the fuck? I'm not African American. A person that comes from Africa, that but was born and raised in Africa, that moved to America, they are African American. I will get more into that shit, but this video is long as fuck. Pray for, I pray for the world, man. Pray for a better outcome. Pray that we don't go into a fucking war of any kind. There's just hella, hella shit on my mind, man. Especially at night, I get to thinking and shit. It's so crucial. But congratulations to the Lux team. Congratulations to Zoe, Kieran, Abigail, Linda. They deserve everything they got coming to them. And I hope they keep seeing them in the future with, with big shit. That's just the type of person I am. I like I like seeing shit like people winning and shit. I, I love seeing that shit. I hate seeing people down and people out. People down and out. I hate seeing that shit. Absolutely hate it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably do a video like talking on like everything because I can really express my mind. And to be only 20, you will be amazed the way my the way I think and shit. But maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. That's just me. Like being 20 years old the way I am. I have a lot to talk about with barely anybody to, to talk to. A lot to talk about with nobody to talk to. It's cool though, you know. That's how you get to know yourself better. Once you alone and you by yourself and shit, you have all the time in the world to get to know yourself and become better with yourself and actually know yourself. But um, yeah, this video long. Um, just had to get that off my chest. If I miss anything, I'll probably make a video on it on Twitter, like a little one, two minute video, quick video. Make sure you go down in the description, read that. Follow me on Instagram, at my Snapchat. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't. If you made it through this whole video, I appreciate you taking the time out your day to, to listen to me talk and shit and actually you know, just stick around and believe in me and shit like that. That shit means so much, man. It, it really does. Even if it's one person, that shit mean a lot, man. I appreciate that shit a lot. Make sure you share this video around. <sighs> yeah, I just, I don't know. I got a lot of shit to talk about with not enough, like not people to talk to it about. But yeah, I'm gonna be out there. I'm gonna be out, man. I'm gonna make more videos in the past. This is basically vlog number two. I'm gonna explain like why why my month long or months long absence on my YouTube has been when I was working this shit. Um, yeah, this is the end of the video. Make sure you check the description. Follow me on all my social medias. Don't spread negativity. Don't be negative. Spread peace, love, and positivity. You gotta terminate the hate. Spread the positive without it being whack or cheesy to the little kids. <laughs> Bum, yeah. Peace, half a heart, and shit if I can, love, and fucking positivity, a plus. <laughs> Alright, I'm out there. See y'all next video.